Hello everyone, Craig Chamberlain with VFDDistributing.com here. Today we're going to talk about the SM Vector AC Tech Lenza uh, uh, drive and we're going to talk about in particular reading the nameplate data off of it. Now somewhere on your drive you're going to have a nameplate tag and it's going to look something like this. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go over the details of this so that you can determine what kind of drive you have. Now, obviously, you have the Lenza AC Tech logo, and uh, when you go to the right of that, you have the type. Now, the type is very important. Um, we're going to go over later on on how to exactly decipher how the type is made, and uh, there's going to be uh, great detail put into what each part of that type means. But this is essentially telling you exactly what kind of drive you have, but in numbers and letter, a numerical, alphanumerical code. So we have ESV, which stands for SM Vector. 371 is the actual kilowatt rating. Uh, N01 and SXB actually give you like the enclosure information and things like that. I'm not going to go into great detail on that. Below it, obviously, we have the UL rating certification, so it's uh, UL certified. Uh, for more information on UL certification, you can either Google it or you can look at the link on the right-hand side of this video. Uh, I'm going to put that in the video description so you can read more about that certification. Uh, the most important parts, obviously, are the input and output. Uh, the input is going to tell you what fit what what voltages you can put into the drive itself. Now if you notice on this one, you might not be able to see it because the video isn't exactly pristine quality. On input, it's going to tell you whether it's a single phase by saying 1 pH, or whether it's a three phase by saying 3 pH, or whether it'll take both. This one says it's a one phase, so you, you'll take in the single phase here. Right below that, it says it's 120 volts slash 240 volts. So basically, you're going to be putting inputting either 120 or 200 volt 240 volt input on this and then below the 120 slash 240 is 9.2 4.6 amps which means that at 120 volts this is rated for 9.2 amps input and for 240 volts it's rated for 4.6 amps input and of course right below that it says 50 to 60 hertz which means your power going in needs to be 50 to 60 hertz power now to the right of that we have the output and now it says it's a three phase output so this is actually a phase converter because we're bringing single phase power in and we're outputting three phase and of course it's going to output 0 to 230 volts for your output because you're going to be hooking it up to your motor which is a 230 volt motor and uh, it's got it's also rated for 2.4 amps and now you're going to want to match this amp output to the nameplate data on your motor itself so if this can only output 2.4 amps, your current on your motor should not exceed that. Unless, of course, it's an overload situation, and even then, um, it shouldn't exceed it for you know, a certain amount of time. Obviously, this is a 0 0.37 kilowatt, which is a half horsepower drive, and it's a 0 to 500 hertz output. Other than that, uh, you have down here in the bottom right-hand corner this ESV371. It gives you your uh, type again at the beginning. And at the end, it gives you your software and hardware versions, and it's after the two X's. So it's going to say XX1F, and 1F actually stands for your hardware version, and 27 on this one in particular, stands for the software version. Now, that's not something you guys really need to worry about. Uh, this is more for actually uh, Lens AC Text documentation. Now, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, again, keep watching the videos. Uh, we're going to talk more and more about the information about the SM Vector Series Drive. Today, we just talked about the nameplate data, but we're obviously going to go over all the, all the, you know, how do you wire it, how do you run one. And uh, don't forget to vis visit us at vfddistributing.com. Uh, we do sell these. We also sell a lot of other products. And we also do repairs on drives, just about any, any drive you ha might have, any standard inverter. Uh, we do servo motor and servo drive repair. So uh, just hang in there and uh, swing by, and hopefully you'll learn a whole lot. Again, this is Craig Chamberlain with vfddistributing.com, and thanks for stopping by.